all right um so let's look at so we're moving on so we're almost we're done actually we're done with traditional cipher except for one more cipher that i want to do i won't call it a, a traditional cipher you can still use that cipher it's a very effective cipher it's the most powerful cipher that still exists uh but it's 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 uh, but it's very old well, we're going to talk about this so we're going to look at um, another type of a crypto system or or another type of encryption technique which is based on something called linear feedback shift registers which is something like this all right this is some type uh, and why we're doing it because th the same pattern that you see here this is being used in GSM encryption technique, which is A5. All right. Idea. So this is actually the flow graph of, of the entire encryption system that is being used in GSM. And this is known as A5 encryption standard. Uh, but the idea is, is similar to this. So we're going to look at a smaller version of this. In GSM, we're using a 64-bit key. Uh, here, we're going to use only four of these flip-flops. So, so we're going to use only four of these flip-flops to actually to, to, to make you understand the same concept that GSM uses in its crypto system, which is still being used around the world. Uh, based, so we're going to look at a smaller version of it. Okay, so, so it's, it's based on something called linear feedback shift registers. And, and let's look at a smaller version. So in this, what's going on, each of these, each of these blocks that you see, they are representing um, a flip-flop and what does a flip-flop do whenever the value comes in it actually shifts that value so so imagine each box is a flip-flop if you think of a circuit as a flip-flop and what does a flip-flop do when a signal comes in it actually whatever is at the end uh, uh, it, will, it will shift that to its output and a new bit comes in and this will get shifted this will get shifted and this will get shifted this will get shifted and this is where the encryption is coming out in a a5 encryption standard you'll see multiple different diagrams of it i find this diagram to be easily understandable and and out of those bits that are being shifted with respect to each of these a couple of bits are being xor together and as you can see linear feedback shift register is being shifted here and the output is going into some xor operator and this operator has an input which is coming off from these number of flip-flops and the output of this is coming from this number of flip-flops and things like that so so this is actually a bigger version of it this is a smaller version of it so let's look at it so um, uh, so let's let's generate a key and based on that uh, you can encrypt your data uh, so let's look at this so this equation is saying this before this B4 is actually, it's a combination of B1, XOR with B0, all right? This is what it's saying, B4 is equals to, is equals to B1, XOR with B0. So if I were to look at this, if I were to look at this, this, if I were to write an equation of this, what do I need to write? This, 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 let's just call it some B value. This actually a combination of 13, bit number 13, bit number 16, and bit number 17 and 18 are being XOR together, and we're getting an output which is being fed back to this flip-flop here. Exactly the same thing. You can also look at it pictorially, and you can look at it in terms of an equation as well. So here, the equation is saying this. B4, which is going into that flip-flop, is actually B1, XOR with B0. And as you can see, B1 and B, B0 are being XOR together, and the output of that is becoming B4, which is being shifted into B3, B2, B1, and B0. And that is becoming the key, and plain text is coming in. So each character is being encrypted in terms of a stream cipher one at a time so one bit so for individual plain text there will be an individual generated key which is coming out from that flip-flop linear feedback shift register so each of these b0s and b1s and b2s and b3s are actually representing nothing but a flip-flop if you were to make that circuit that's why a5 and gsm crypto systems they are actually physically implemented crypto systems 
you can also do it in terms of software as well but but they are actually physically infra physical infrastructure and that's why they are still being used and and why they are still being used because it, it's infrastructure based secondly it's very widely sp spread and for telcos to replace that system it's going to take a huge it's going to for them it will take a huge amount of money to actually replace this so what we're going to do we're going to make a small table of it and we're going to generate a couple of keys just to show you so we're going to make a small table let's call that states all right let's call a value b4 let's call one b3 b2 b1 b0 and let's generate our key all right so let's make a table like this so let's quickly make a table like this all right i'm going to use my pencil to represent the state here all right so we're going to start off with a seed value all right we're going to start off from a seed value which is zero 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 one all right so 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 let's give this a name so this is actually the least significant bit so let's call that b0 i'm sorry so this is going to be my b0 this is going to be my b1 b2 and b3 all right so in place of b3 so this is my seed value where i need a seed or or in cryptography we call it initialization vector some type of a seed value to start my algorithm so b3 is 0 b2 is 0 b1 is 0 b0 is 1 all right so what would be the initial state all right what will be the initial state so initial state for this what will be the value of b1 so this is the initial state that we're starting off all right so let's XOR this together so b1 is actually 0 all right I'm oh, sorry b0 is 1 b1 are being XOR together so when I XOR 0 and 1 I'll get 1 so b4 right now is 1 all right at an initial state so this is a seeding value these are the value of my seeds and this is the value at b4 all right so let's run our iteration so let's do our first iteration now in linear feedback shift register what's going on that i have b4 that is coming and when b4 goes in whatever it's in b3 is being shifted to b2 whatever is in b2 is being shifted to b1 and whatever is in b1 is being shifted to b0 and whatever was present in place of b0 that is actually becoming your key all right so far so good i i hope you're getting it so right now the initial value is zero 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 one all right and one is outside so when one goes in one goes into this what what will happen the next value is going to be one this one this one is b is now in place of b3 this zero which was present in place of b3 would go in here this zero will go in here this zero will go in here and the first and this one actually is becoming ki all right so now the state will change all right we'll we'll write this a little bit later so right now we have one all right one zero 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 and before that it has one in it so that one will become your the key stream that will become one. okay so now then what will be the value of b4 is going to be b4 is actually going to be zero xor with zero so zero xor with zero will give you zero so b4 would be zero all right so far so good so far so good i hope you guys are getting it all right let's do one more all right so right now we have this inside of it all right so this is the value which is currently present and so now when this zero so zero xor with zero now this would become zero now this zero will get shifted here all right so let me write down let me let me write it here all right so this zero will be shifted here so so the new state is going to be zero this zero will be shifted here 
all right uh, which was this this zero will be shifted here this will be shifted here this will be shifted here you can see this pattern this zero will be shifted here this one will go here this zero will go here this zero will go here it has a zero the zero will go over here all right so it's being shifted like this so this now the second state now the second state is going to be this zero is going to be shifted here this will be shifted here one zero will be shifted here this zero will be shifted here and this will go right here so the new state would be zero one zero zero now what will be the value of this going to be what is the value of this going to be okay b zero what is b zero xor with zero b1 sorry b1 xor with b0 0 xor with 0 this would become 0 so this is state 2 so in this way you're going to start generating your key once you generate your key every single character or alphabet or symbol will be xor with this right will be xor with this and you will have a cipher text which is coming out all right so the key of this stream cipher the more scrambling you can do just like an a5 gsm standard is there is more of scrambling so when i use uh, xor operator it actually causes diffusion confusion and all of that so that actually providing confusion which making this key random and once you have a random key not actually random it's actually pseudo random key once you have a pseudo random key uh, definitely XOR operator will give you a pseudo random output I hope you're getting it the more of these transitions are going to be and the more just like this here if you were to look at it in a5 there is one bit bit number 13 is coming in 16 17 18 and all three all four of them are being XOR together and fed back to that system and the output is then is being XOR in this way if if you can take multiple of these output hour then XOR them it's actually making them more robust in this example when you carry out this example you would see that after 20 states after 20 states the key will start repeating itself why it's repeating itself because I don't have many of these flip-flops and I don't have I need to have multiple circuit of this working together just like an a5 GSM in a5 encryption system you have let's say 18 flip-flops here plus i'm getting three outputs one two three four outputs and then i'm xoring them together together and i'm actually giving that feedback to these flip-flops then it's just not only this you have this thing also coming out you have which is being xored or we're taking multiple bit position and then this thing is coming out all of this is being xored together which is randomized sort of randomization and confusion and diffusion happening and in this way the key or or the encryption is going to be different the key especially this is actually the key which is going to be different uh, so so i hope uh, you like this small tutorial and the functionality uh, uh, a smaller level functionality of a a5 gsm system even though it's a broken standard but still being used why because it's hard to replace the infrastructure that is already being mounted by uh, uh, infrastructures that has been um, mounted by these telcos and it's hard to actually just change it uh, but even though it looks easy it will take some amount of time to actually crack it um, so I hope you like this small tutorial on GSM encryption standard um, uh, a smaller version of that but this is like a bigger version and if you have any questions please leave it in a comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel